Hello everyone. Okay, let's have a quick look at this question. Um, so it goes here, the masses of all of the Roman coins in a museum are recorded in a histogram below. Um, 126 coins each weigh between 8 grams to 17 grams. Work out how many Roman coins are there in the museum collection in total. So what we've been told here, um, 8 grams, let's have a look at it. Uh, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it goes from here, which is 8 here. And it goes all the way up to 17. So that's 15, 16, 17. That's 17 grams up to here. Okay. So it tells you that this section here, Within this section, there are 126. So that's the frequency. 126. And the class width here, so, so that's the frequency. I could have called that bigger. And um, we need to work out the scale here for the frequency density. But we know that the class width here will be 17 take away 8, which will give me 9. Okay, so that will be the class width. Now, I know that frequency density is going to be frequency shared by the class width. So in this case, the frequency was 126. That's going to be shared by 9. Now you can just quickly do this on your calculator. Uh, 126 shared by 9. Is 14 okay so that tells me that going along here being careful that's going to be 14 okay so I'm looking at here there's um, one two three four five six seven so each one of those little squares are two so that's going to be about 10 that's going to be 20 30 40 okay so now <clears throat> let's work it out so once we've got that we want to know how many coins there are all together so I've got frequency first I'll put um, yeah let's do the class width and then I'm going to get the frequency density and then I can work out the frequency so let's fill in this table just going to take it along here so the first one is uh, from 5 to 0, so that's going to be a 5. And the frequency there is going to be 2, 4, 6. Frequency density, sorry, it's going to be 6. This one here goes from 5 to um, 8. So that's going to be 3, the class width. Okay, and that goes up to 40, the frequency density. It's 40, and that's 3. So this comes from... Well, we already know that's going to be going from um, the gap there's going to be 9. And we already know <coughs> that's, that's 14. We worked it out and we know that that's already got 126 coins in there. We've been told that. From the and from here, that goes from 17 to 20, 21, 22. So that's going to be plus width of 5. And that's going to go up uh, 20, 22, 24, 26. Okay. So simply just multiply these numbers together. So 5 times 6 is 30. Four, 3 times 40 is 120. And 5 times 26 is 130. Times it by 10 to times it by 10 then half it so the total number of coins if we add all that up is 6 5 add 5 is uh, 10 1 2 3 4 Let me just double check it again 6 uh, 5 7 10 1 2 3 4 so when it goes here what is the total number of coins in the museum there are 406 coins in total. 
Okay, so very important that you you work backwards with the information you got. You got to get the exact scale of the frequency density, and from there you can then establish this table and work out the frequency of each bar. And once you got the frequency of each bar, you add all them up and you get the total frequency, which is the total number of coins. Okay.